everyone, today we are actually doing the top rated best sellers on Ulta. So basically I just searched on Ulta and categorized everything by best sellers and then purchased the best sellers. I actually already owned a lot of them so I'll be able to give you a little mini review on each item and I will tell you if I think it is actually worth the money and actually like worth the spot of the best seller if you know what I mean. So in the past I have done the top rated makeup on Ulta. It is this very top video right on my phone screen right there. Oh my god 40 four minutes what was I thinking so yeah I just searched by like the you know top reviews I guess in that video so this time we're doing it the best sellers and you know they are also high rated so we'll just see how they go I'm gonna start obviously with primer and I'll let you know what the product is and what the reviews say and then I'll let you know what I think so the best selling face primer is actually MAC fix plus which I have used for years I've probably used it for like what eight years or something like that it's one of the first MAC products I ever wore. And then if you actually go down to like a physical primer, like a creamy primer, it is the Stila One Step Correct, which I'm so proud of because this has been one of my holy grails for years and years and I've recently started getting back into it. I've actually used it in a lot of videos lately, but this is what it looks like in the flesh. It's basically just like a little different colored mixed product and it literally makes your face look so bright and beautiful and moisturized and it just kind of color corrects as well so this goes for 36 US dollars it's quite expensive and it's been rated 4.2 out of 5 most of the negative reviews are basically saying that it's not a super like color correcting product which it claims to be and I would definitely agree with that it's definitely more of a subtle kind of color correction so if you look at my skin now you can see I've got a little bit of pink it definitely helps to color create, but it's not like real intense, if you know what I mean. If you're looking for a super intense, like green primer, this will not do the job, but I personally love this. It kind of just gives me a little tint of a color correction, but the biggest thing is it's so hydrating. It just feels amazing underneath my foundation. So I love this product. I've raved about this for probably like four or five years on my channel. Like I'm not even joking. It has been a while. And look at the finish it gives on your skin. The lighting's like terrible today. It's super sunny outside, so it's kind of washing me up. But like, it gives you this beautiful glow and it just feels so good. If you have like drier skin, I think it's amazing, like normal to dry skin. Now let's do foundation. The top rated foundation with 13,000 reviews is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream, Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum, and SPF 50. This sounds amazing. I don't think I've tried this. I have tried some It Cosmetics products in the past. I'm sure I tried some kind of baby cream from them. I can't remember. I don't think it was this one, but we will give it a fresh review today. Um, this goes for $38, and it's got like 12 shades, I believe. Here's how they all look, and then... Um, this was rated 4.4 out of 5, which is very decent. Most people say it's easy to apply, it blends, it goes on smoothly, it's lightweight, and it has good pigmentation, good coverage. And most people have mature, sensitive, and normal skin. There's not really any reviews of people with oily skin using this product, so that works for me because I have normal to dry skin. It's supposed to have a poreless finish and it's supposed to conceal, and it's supposed to moisturize. It kind of markets itself as a foundation, primer, and concealer all in one. And it looks like the people in the picture are using their fingers to apply it. <laughs> but you can stop. wear it instead of makeup, or you can wear it with makeup. And this is incredible underneath your eyes. It's gonna give you that full coverage, but it's clinically proven. To <laughs> but it also says on here it pairs perfectly with the airbrush blurring foundation brush. What about, I'm just gonna look at it and see if I can find like a little dupe for that because I honestly the biggest thing for me with applying stuff with my fingers like foundations with my fingers is I hate it when it gets stuck under your nails like that's why I like primers I'm fine because it's like clear moisturizers and stuff but foundation it's just so messy and I just don't like it so the foundation brush looks like this it's just like a little round top brush so maybe I'll use something like this with the product and yeah I think I'll do that so the color I bought is shade light that doesn't look light. Oh, 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 there it is. Okay, it looks lighter, kind of, then mm, kind of. So I'm gonna use an angle top face brush. I'm gonna take a finger and just spread it out first. It feels like a moisturizer. The coverage looks really good so far, and I am a big fan of BB creams and stuff, like Korean branded ones, and I love the Chi Chi one. I've loved a few different brands in the past. It smells really good. Smells like fruit. So I hope I really like this one too. The undertone looks really, really nice. I just got an email. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend it out with my brush. Of course, 
Once again, you can totally use your fingers, but ooh, that's looking nice. It's working really, really well with the brush. Let me zoom you in in the dark. Oh, that's a bit too dark. Just so you can see the texture when I blend it out. I'm using like little tappy kind of motions, like blend and tap. I reckon you could use this with a sponge too. It's really very blendable, which is nice. I'm getting like a foundation line happening. It's definitely a little bit too dark for me right now, <laughs> which is a bit of a bummer, but we'll make it work. I love the smell of it, it smells so good. So that amount of product covered my entire face, but I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit more product and just apply some down my neck so I can kinda pretend like it matches me. Okay, so immediate first impression, I really like this. That was one coat, it was really quick and fast and easy to apply. Why am I bright red right here? Let's put some more on. And it's easy to blend. It looks so freaking smooth. The finish is beautiful. It's like so glowy and dewy. I love, love, love it. Definitely if you had more normal to oily skin, you probably definitely need to set it, which I set every day anyway, even though I have like normal to drier or dehydrated skin most of the time. It just sits so beautifully, like everywhere on my nose, on my forehead, over like these dry patches. It just looks so good. So. I'm stoked. Also, it's got SPF 50, which is amazing. SPF is very important. You know, I'm heading towards 27 years old this year, and I need to be taking these SPF things seriously, as we all should, because skincare is important. Sun care, I mean, sun care. You want to protect your skin from, you know, cancer, also age spots and stuff like that. Um, so SPF is really important, and I am now using retinol, so I definitely need that. I love how this looks. I'm blown away. I think that looks so, so nice. So, I can see the hype over there. So you get 32 mil, by the way, which is a little bit above average for a foundation. I was confused why this was marketed as a foundation, but definitely it performs like one. It looks like one. It feels like one. It's quite lightweight, but you can still like feel it there a little bit. Definitely keeping that. Okay, next product, concealer. Best selling concealer is not a surprise. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. 30 shades, goes for 27 and it is rated 4.6 out of 10. I mean, five. I do really like this um, concealer. It's not my holy grail or anything. I do find it quite heavy and cakey looking sometimes if you're not careful. Less is definitely more. So I'm using light medium sand just on my face. My dog's having a great time barking in the background. So that's nice. And then I'm using the shade light underneath my eyes. Um, and literally just using the smallest amount. I definitely agree. Oh my god, can my dog shut up? This is good. Um, I definitely think that this is a really good concealer still. It's got amazing coverage and everything, but it's definitely like more of a unnatural finish. It's quite, you know, heavy, cakey. You need less than more. I'm just using that around my nose and under my eyes, just tapping it out with my brush. I usually prefer to use a sponge with this product because um, it just helps to kind of like blend it out a bit better and make it look a little bit more sheer almost. So if you want more coverage, of course, this is a good technique. So I had to buy a new lens for my camera because um, my last one, I dropped my camera, don't even ask, it was a nightmare. The lens snapped off, um, so I just repurchased the exact same lens, but for some reason, it focuses so badly. Like, I would just be doing my thing, which I would normally do with my old lens. Same lens, just my old one, and I, you know, not have to worry about it not focusing and stuff, whereas this new lens, like, it's so terrible. Like, while I'm literally blending my makeup and stuff, it just starts focusing in all these weird places, so... It's really annoying, so I apologize. My skin looks flawless, like amazing coverage and everything. This concealer definitely definitely creases a little wee bit under my eyes personally because it is quite heavy. Um, it's not like be all end all, but I definitely need to set it really well, so I'm gonna do that now. I definitely like that concealer. Not my holy grail. But I don't dislike it. If you've been wanting to give it a go, I would recommend giving it a go. Because I don't think... It's not something I hate. It's not something that I'm holy grail over. I do like it. So if you're curious, like, you know, it's worth giving it a go. Because some people just, like, absolutely love it. The biggest cons on the website say it's just heavy and difficult to apply. And that would be because, you know, it's so easy to use too much. And... Um, it is heavy. It's like very thick. Under my eyes, I'm just going to use my normal powder, which I did buy off Ulta. This is Summer Bisque. It's brand new. Look how beautiful it is. 
This is like one of my favorite under eye setting powders of all time. So you can't buy it in New Zealand or Australia, but you can buy it in the USA on Ulta. It's so weird. I feel like that's really unfair basically. TBH. And I'm using a small face brush. This is from the Marble Collection, which is still available. It is so beautiful, you guys. Definitely get on it before it's gone. Every single brush, because they're all handmade, every single brush handle is unique as well. Like, it's not just like a vinyl cover or anything like some other brands that do marble like every single one's unique and they're so pretty so i'm just tapping that under my eyes i love this so much i missed you i also bought a new shade called bisque and i bought some more well rested as well but i only bought one of these and i really should have bought like six although my last one lasted what like two or three years so I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, now on to face powder. Okay, this one's screwed up. So I used a fording service to um, buy the products, but I think my colors sold out so they couldn't purchase it and send it to me. But it was going to be the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. So same range as before. Airbrush Perfecting Powder with SPF 50, $35. And of course, I don't own it because I couldn't get it sent to me. But I do have this, so I might just use this. This is It Cosmetics as well. It's a different product. This is called the Cell Celebration Foundation Illumination in the shade Light. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but I mean, we're just gonna use what we can. So this is how it looks. And I just like to use a big, puffy, fluffy brush. Can't talk. And I'm just going to gently pat that on top of that CC cream and we'll see how it looks. I have used this before in videos. Um, I like it. It's not my favorite, but I think it's just the color. Like I think that's the reason. It's a little bit like pinky for me. So I'm just using like a very small amount of it and sitting everywhere where I put that powder. I mean, liquid foundation shit, whatever it's called. I like the finish of this powder. It's very healthy looking. So the freaking bronzer didn't come up either. Oh wait, yes it did. Okay, so the bronzer that's now the top rated has changed because it's new. They just added a new bronzer and apparently like, that was not there when I ordered, <laughs> like, butter bronzer, and I really want to try it, because you guys have been asking me to try it, so I'm really annoyed, because I could have bought it, but oh well. But the other one that is, like, the best seller that was there was the Benefit Cosmetics Hula, which I really like. I haven't used it in ages, so this is good. $30, and this was rated 4.6 out of 5. It's a beautiful bronzer. I've used it a lot in my videos. Mine has my name on it, and it actually comes in a light color, too, which I really, really like. It looks like this. So I'm just going to use the same brush and just apply this to, like, the higher points of my face. And I love this, but it's not a go-to for me, because usually these days I go for a kind of illuminating bronzer, and then a matte contour. So this is more of like a matte bronzer, but you can use it to contour as well. It's not like the perfect shade, but it does the trick if you know what I mean. So I'm just applying that to all of the kind of high points of my face um, to give myself a bronzed effect. And then we will contour with something else. You can see it just blends so effortlessly into my skin. Like you can barely even see where I put it. It just kind of shaped my face and gave me more of a sun kissed effect, like a more bronzed complexion. So I do really like this. It's not my go-to, but it is really good if you are looking for a matte bronzer. I really like it. So I screwed up on the contour. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder Kit, which I own, but is that my beach house? So the next one I have is also another top rated one. It is the Pro Glow To Go Highlight and Contour Palette. This is $19, and it's been rated 4.6 out of 5, so it's very high rated as well. And this is how it looks. So it's got the shade Chisel in here for contouring, so let's do that now. I'm just using a little domed contour brush, and I'm just going to apply this product right underneath my cheekbones. One thing I love about this is it smells really good. It smells like chocolate, and the color is really nice. And then it also comes with two highlighters, which are amazing. Look at this. So I usually use the full size version. There is a full size double sided palette, but this is the glow to go, which is smaller. So good for travel. You still get like a huge amount of product in here too. I'm also gonna apply some just around my nose a little and just on my temples. Okay, while we're at it, let's just do blush and highlighter already and then we'll do the eye makeup and the lips last. So we have the NARS blushes. So obviously there are a bunch of different colors. I own like 12 of them myself. They go for $30, which I don't think is bad for the quality and the amount of product you get. And they are rated 4.7 out of 5, which I would agree with. I think they are beautiful shades, really blendable. 
lovely products, amazing shade range, like there's everything you need. The one I'm going to use today is called Liberty or Liberté or I don't know. I've been using this one for years and years and years. It used to be my holy grail like five years ago. Yes, it's the same one. It's probably expired but it still works just fine. This is how it looks. It's a beautiful like burnt peach kind of shade and it's a matte formula. They've got like shimmery ones too. But I love this shade right here. Look at that. It's so pretty and works on a lot of different skin tones. I'm putting on quite a bit because I'm loving blush again apparently. And I just use that with a dense fiber brush. We have the Sugar Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This goes for $40 for four different shades, which is a good deal. This one is brand new, but I have owned this in the past. And it's rated 4.7 out of five. You can see the beautiful shades. Perfect for someone with, why is this not focusing? I swear to G.O.D. Perfect for people with skin tones similar to mine, like light to medium skin tones, I would say. I'm going to use a detail face brush and I'm going to take the shade Gumdrop, which is this top one right here. And I'm going to apply that to, oh wow. Why would you even focus on the lights in the background? Like what is the purpose of that camera? I don't know. This is a beautiful like pink reflect. I like these highlighters a lot. I just think you really need to use a very small brush like this to really blend it in because they can be quite chunky if you don't blend them in properly. And that's when they kind of just sit on the surface of your skin and make your skin look worse rather than better. But if you really buff them in like I am, go back and forth, they are so nice and smooth. So just get yourself a really nice dense brush to buff that in. And there you have it. Look how beautiful. And then I'm going to take the shade Butterscotch, which is this golden one. And we'll put this on our nose a little bit and above the eyebrows. I always do a little bit on my chin. I don't know why, I just like to. And Cupid's bow. Ooh, that's real blinding on that eyebrow. I think I went a bit overboard, but oh well. So yeah, I do like these. I don't use them as much as I used to. Um, but yeah, I do like them still. <laughs> Might actually just blend a little bit of Starburst on top of my cheeks too, just to lighten it up a bit. Make it even more blinding. Like, why not? We're going intense today. For eyebrows, we also have another Anastasia Beverly Hills product. I had to purchase this. I did own it previously, but it's not my favorite, to be honest. So I bought it again for the video. It goes for $21, comes in 10 shades. There's like 6,800 reviews on this on the website. 4.6 out of 5. And I bought this shade at Taupe. Hopefully the color's okay. I just prefer my like benefit brow pencils and stuff like that. And to be quite honest with you, even then, I don't use brow pencils that often. So comes with a spoolie on one side and a eyebrow pencil on the other side, which is very, very, very fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in at my eyebrows. It's not a bad product by any means at all, but it's just not my preference. I just feel like it takes so much longer too to use a pencil. Does anyone else find that? Because I hear a lot of people saying that they think pomades take longer, but personally, like, pomades are pretty quick for me. I use the Cabral by Benefit, that's my favorite one. I suppose pop on and show you this eyebrow done. This one's not being touched, so it definitely is a really good color. It's pretty much like my perfect natural kind of shade. I feel like it looks a little bit patchy just here. The color's good because it's really easy just to draw it on. I don't have to be careful. Um, but yeah. That's how it looks. What do you guys think? So that's both on. I definitely do like the product. It just takes me a little bit longer. The pencil itself is really good quality. It's quite stiff, which I like. So you're not getting like big creamy, goopy brows. I feel like when you have a brow pencil that's too creamy, it's really hard to apply naturally. Whereas this is quite stiff and waxy. So it gives you a very natural look, which is nice. So I do like it. It's just not my favorite kind of method. But you know what? I think I might keep it because the color is just so good. The best selling eye primer is Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've got the shade Eden here. Yeah, it goes for $24 and it has tons of reviews. This is like the cult favorite, like back in the day, eye primer and apparently is still the best seller. The original one is more best selling than this one, but this is the one I have and it's rated 4.7. So I like this color because it's like a flesh tone. I'm just applying that on to my eyelids. And I like to use like a big petal brush to blend my eye primer out. I don't know why, it just works well. Okay, so the best selling eyeshadow is the Naked Heat palette, which I have done videos on in the past. I'll link them below, or link it below. I've done at least one tutorial using this palette, but we'll do another one today. I was kind of surprised to see this um, more of a bestseller than the James Charles palette, but hey, it goes for $54 and it's been rated 4.8 out of 5. By the way, Ulta still does have my palette as well. It's got a whopping 4.9 star review out of 5. Damn. Oh my god, did I declutter my Naked Heat palette? I have the mini one. Guys, I think I decluttered it. So, I'm gonna use the Petite Heat instead, which is just, oh my god, I can't open it. Oh, 
the smaller kind of version because the palette down like I said is James Charles but we've done a couple of tutorials using his palette recently I'll link them below if you do want to go watch them I did one which was like a brass doll look and another purple look which I was obsessed with because the next couple of palettes after the James Charles like, I don't even own so I just assumed I still had the Naked Heat and I don't Apparently I'm an idiot. This is just a mini version. It doesn't have any shimmers. It's all mattes. I'm going to start with the shade Vibrate, which is the second shade in. And I'm going to pat that in to the crease and then blend it out. As you can see, these are very pigmented and very, very easy to blend. I'm going to do a very nice, simple, kind of smoky brown wearable look today. I've been asking you guys what kind of looks you want to see. And there's always a blend between like super simple, super wearable makeup looks and also like dramatic, colorful looks. So we are going to be doing a lot of colourful looks in my next series coming up and I want to just, you know, balance that out with some nice wearable beautiful looks as well. So hopefully this one turns out good. Comment down below and let me know what do you prefer to watch on YouTube? Do you prefer to watch like artistic, creative, bright looks or do you prefer to watch videos with really natural nude looks that you would wear on your own like day to day life? Now I'm going to use the next colour which is called Hot Spell. This one right here, this palette is perfect for travel by the way. And I'm going to apply that into my crease without blending it out as high. Just so it's kind of more in the deeper part of my crease. And of course the eye primer is working amazing with this product. So yeah, I really should use that Urban Decay primer a lot more. It's really nice. Just using a clean brush to blend out the edges. This lighting is not doing me any favours right now. Like honestly, it looks patchy and it's not. <laughs> I hate when the weather is so sunny outside, like the best lighting for filming is cloudy weather because it makes it look the most realistic whereas when it's super sunny it like makes everything look real harsh and just like ugh. Okay and then I'm going to take the shade Heist for the last colour I'm using today, this one right here. Same brush. I'm just going to pat that on my lid and then blend it up. Oh that's so pretty. So all of the colours should kind of like almost come together. I'm just going to run a little bit of that same colour underneath my eye too. Going quite dramatic under my eyes. Actually I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Inhale, which is this actually a satin shade? It might be. Oh it's kind of matte kind of set. I can't really tell what the finish is but it's just a really nice fresh kind of colour. I'm going to put that right underneath my brow bone and on my inner corner. I really like this colour. It's definitely more of like a glowy kind of colour. It's like a glowy from within kind of shade. So the best selling eyeliner is something I have tried in the past but never really saw like the rave about. Like never really got it. But it's the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This goes for $22 and it comes in 8 different colours. I just bought black. So we're going to give it another go today and I'll give you my opinion. $22 and 4.5 out of 5 stars. It looks like this and it has a flexible kind of felt tip liner which I do like these so hopefully you know I end up liking it this time it's very very easy to use it's like real pigmented they went on real smooth okay yep yeah, definitely gonna keep that and keep using that one um that's the most flawless eyeliner I've done in a while I don't know if it's just because the product's new or what but it's very even it doesn't bleed look at that look at that wing oh so pure. It looks like this side's starting to bleed now. <laughs> Did I just jinx myself? It looks like it's bleed a tiny bit, but this side's not bleeding. Maybe it takes a few seconds to start bleeding. That's not good. But either way, I'm going to keep trying it because I still think it looks good even though this side has bled the tiniest amount. I'm still stoked. It's so black. Alright, mascara hit me with it. Best selling mascara is one of my ultimate favourites. The two best selling are both my faves. So we've got the Roller Lash Curling and Lifting Mascara. Love it. And also the Bidden and Seats Mascara. So we're going to use the very top seller. What the heck? Does it come in brown? Oh my god, they've got a brown one? I need the brown one. Anyway, 4.4 out of 5. I love this mascara. It's one of my favourite curling mascara. Actually, it is my favourite curling mascara. If you want something that's going to curl and lift your lashes, this is the best one. Sometimes I would rather have, you know, volume and stuff like that. But this gives you a bit of volume, but the curl is real. That's the biggest, like, point of it, you know? I've gone through so many of these. I think this is the one I mentioned in my yearly favourites too. So the brush is like a little curly brush. Works really well. It's nice and clean and easy to use. I'll do one eye so you can see the difference. So that there is just one coat. It's so nice. Like I love this. I think if you have long lashes and you just want curling action, you know, like me, then it's perfect. If you've got really short eyelashes, I'm not sure how it works. Um, but yeah, for me, I love, love, love it. And of course you can build it up to get more volume by adding another coat or two. And yeah, it builds up volume very quick. So that's two coats just there. Ah, I love it. 
Okay, now to finish off our face today, or almost finished, this is the best selling lipstick on Ulta, the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks. These are amazing. I've used them for years. I did a lip swatch video years ago on these. They're for $20, which is very reasonable. And they're rated 4.2 out of 5. I think I'm going to use the shade Dolce. Dolce? Dolce? I don't know. You don't really need a lip liner with these. They just kind of like go on really nice and smooth as is. This shade is so nice. I was also like contemplating Naked, which is a nice nude. I'm going to mix in a little bit of Naked, the nude one. Of course, it's going to dry all the way down to a matte finish. So now the last step, of course, is setting spray. Fix Plus, like I mentioned at the very beginning, is the best like primer. I would say MAC Fix Plus is a really good primer spray to put on before your foundation because it does have a kind of sticky feel. Um, and if you want to use it after all of your makeup, you also can. But it's not going to like really extend the life of your makeup. It's just going to soak up the excess powders and make everything look better, which is still like obviously good. The best seller is actually the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I don't think I looked this up because I didn't buy that. But we also have Fix Plus, like I just talked about, and then the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is one of my favorite ones of all time by Scandinavia. I use it in like every video. So today we use MAC Fix Plus. This is at $27. It comes in different scents. It's had heaps of reviews and has a total rating of 4.4 out of 5. Have any of you guys tried the Morphe one? Like, should I pick it up or nah? I've never really tried it. Okay, so after all that, I think I don't even have any Fix Plus left. Well done, Shan. Scandinavia it is. I love this stuff. Of course, you could chuck on your favorite lashes with this look, but today I'm actually going to rock my natural ones because I love how it looks. It's so soft and pretty and perfect for every day. What do you guys think of this makeup? I think my complexion looks so flawless. I definitely need to try again and try out that setting powder by It Cosmetics because I love, love, love the CC cream. This is definitely a highlight of today's video. I feel like everything I use today is definitely good. I definitely agree that these products should all be best sellers. I'm not sure about like the very best best seller, but I think they are all really good quality products. Like for example, the brows. Like even though the brow wiz is not my favorite personally, I still think it's a great product. It's just not my absolute favorite, but I can see why it is a bestseller. It sucks that I didn't have the correct eyeshadow palette, but hey, that's what I get for being an idiot and assuming I have things when I obviously decluttered it, but that's fine. Love the highlight, contour, blush, like love everything about it. I just feel flawless. Like I feel really good in today's makeup. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see another video like this, let me know and let me know which website I should do. Like should I do Sephora, Beauty Bay, um, I don't know, fill in the gaps. Tell me what you want to see. I also want to go back on some of these websites, Ulta, Sephora, something and do full face of cheapest makeup and full face of most expensive makeup. So let me know what you're looking forward to the most so I know what to do first because obviously every time I do these videos I rack up a bit of a bill. So <laughs> it'd be good to know what you want to see like as the most important one so I can do that first because I do like to spread them out a little bit. I think the cheapest stuff off Ulta could be fun because they do have drugstore brands on Ulta as well as high end so it'd be kind of cool to see like what the cheapest cheapest drugstore products they have are but yeah let me know I love how this makeup looks with my top color as well I think it's super super cute please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe and click on those notifications if you do enjoy watching my videos I upload three times a week most weeks at least two times a week Monday Wednesdays Fridays is my standard so Make sure you're checking back on my channel. I know YouTube is a bit cray cray sometimes and doesn't send out notifications, but by you guys thumbs up being and commenting and all of those good things on my videos, it really helps me to reach more people with my videos, which obviously really helps me out and I really appreciate it. So yeah, if you feel like doing it, feel free. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.